is Mr. Royce, Royce Media, coming at you guys with another video. And the subject of this video is going to be why it is important for men to learn how to fight and to test their fighting skills. Um, it's important for men to know how to fight because it, it's pretty much a rite of passage. Number one, that's the big thing. Um, every man who calls himself a man should be able to handle himself when the situation arises and it's a situation that's beyond talking, you know, um, or it's an emergency situation where you got to physically get yourself up out of a jam. Um, this is important because you... <laughs> You want to be able to protect yourself and protect the people that you care about. Um, as for me, myself, um, I'm a lifelong martial artist. Um, I've been taking martial arts in some capacity since 1985. Um, I've boxed, I've kickboxed, I've done jujitsu. Um, you know, I've done lots of uh, weapons training with firearms and stuff. So um, not to my own horn, I'm pretty confident in my ability to protect myself and the people I care about. Um, I know this because I've tested myself in different competitions. Um, I've been in street fights um, and I've taught other people how to successfully defend themselves. Um, those of you who know me outside of YouTube know that I'm a pretty formidable um, martial artist um, and I have no problem with taking it there if a situation comes to that point. You know, um, the big thing about being able to fight being able to defend yourself, um, it, it, it's a confidence booster because you know that you have a solution when that particular problem arises. Um, you got a lot of grown men walking around out here who they can't defend themselves, you know, um, or they think they can. And since they've never tested themselves, um, they, they wind up being in a situation where they get a rude awakening. Um, one of the biggest things is um, you hit uh, uh, you hit a guy in the face, a uh, guy hits it, gets hit in the face, and he pretty much shuts down where he goes into um, either fight or flight mode. Um, you have to desensitize yourself to being hit and, and or being in a situation where you got to grapple or something so that uh, you can calm yourself down and know what to do next. Um, fighting is important because it allows you to know what works and what doesn't work and what works and doesn't work for you. You have a better understanding of your body mechanics, which is also a confidence booster, and you know how to compensate for your weaknesses or you can learn from your weaknesses in the area of self-defense. Um, um, I say this because um, I grew up in a household where um, I had a divorce. Um, I'm, I'm a product of a single family home. My mother was divorced and growing up, my mom wanted me to be a, uh, she wanted me to be a church pastor. And she had very strong opinions against uh, violence and fighting. And uh, she didn't want me to do it. And for a little bit of my life, growing up, I got picked on a lot because I wouldn't fight back. You know, that all changed when I went to move with my dad. My dad was like, nah, you, you're you not going to be out here representing me and not be able to handle yourself. So my dad encouraged me to learn how to fight. He 
you know, and he would even roughhouse to, with me to see what I learned and stuff. Um, basically, he gave me agency to be a boy um, and, and to, to grow up to be a man. And um, among the things that he taught me was he taught me how to fight. You know, my dad was um, was pretty good with his hands. And, uh, you know, he, he was a pretty good uh, judo guy. So, you know, I learned things from him. And then um, I actually, as I got older, I sought out other forms of uh, organized fighting to um, to channel my aggression. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it served me for the better. Because, you know, I don't, I don't get scared when, um, or I, I don't get overly excited when somebody's talking greasy at me. So, you know, my thing is, I, right, you know, don't threaten me with a good time because I just might take that invitation, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm a Billy Badass or anything. Um, I'm not saying that uh, I can go out here and, uh, you know, beat the world up, but, um, if you come at me with it, you know, you come at me like you want to throw them hands, I'll oblige, you know, it's no problem with me, you know, just be ready for what you're going to get yourself into dealing with, you know, um, also too, learning how to fight, learning how to defend yourself also encourages you, encourages a man to improve his uh, physicality and his physical form, you know, it, it, it you know, it, it, it teaches him how to be mindful of his physical readiness, what he's putting in his body and stuff, and, uh, you know, his, his performance. And y'all see me smoking these cigars and stuff. Um, yeah, I like these cigars, but it's not stopping no show because, you know, I... I get out there and I roll um, in, in jujitsu with these young boys um, quite quite often. You know, I get out there and I do my little old man techniques because I'm an old guy now, you know. But um, I get out there and I do my old man jujitsu and, uh, you know, shut down a lot of the, the hottest techniques that, that a lot of these younger guys are doing because I've been doing it so long. And I understand my body to the point to where um, I can do things that they haven't seen. So, you know, um, again, I'm not saying I'm a world beater or, you know, I'm Billy Badass. But I'm pretty proficient in, handle, in, in defending myself. And if I have to defend those who are important to me, I can do so with a great level of confidence. Um, in closing, you know, I can't stress enough. As a man, you need to learn how to fight. You know, find yourself a boxing gym, find yourself a jujitsu gym, find yourself a, 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 a good karate um, studio, and take some lessons. You know, if you have to take take some lessons. Um, you know, if you're going to go the karate route, I would strongly encourage a style like Shotokan or Kyokushin. Kyokushin is my discipline. Um, I've been doing Kyokushin Karate for a long time, and it's a very physical, very tough form of karate. Um, I, I, like I said, I do a lot of jujitsu, and you know, I, I get out and I roll with younger guys and, and bigger guys and smaller guys, so I can get the different body types, so I can understand what I can do and um, how I can respond in different situations. So in closing, you know, learn how to fight, learn, you know, learn how to get hit in the face and uh, learn how, how to dish it out back and uh, be a better man. It's Mr. Royce Media and I'm out.